So what we're going to do here is group them both together, bring down the opacity a little bit, and then add a new layer, go to the same color. DJ Khaled! trip, come and be my Taurus. Pretty bitches walking around my forest. Yo guys, what is going on Tim Percy and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a sick YouTube banner in Photoshop. It's going to have a gaming style to it so yeah it's going to look really cool and if you do enjoy the video hit the like button down below. Can we smash 500 likes on this video? That would be amazing. Let's try and get there. Um, subscribe if you're new and also let me know what video you want to see from me next. Like just like a tutorial or even a series. I'll read the comments guys. So yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop now. I've got a 1500 by 500 document open which is actually a Twitter header but uh, I'm just going to be doing it on this you can do the exact same for a YouTube banner but I just prefer working on Twitter headers I just like the dimensions better but you can do the exact same like I said so we're gonna make a gaming YouTube banner so for the background we're gonna make it quite dark we're gonna make a dark background just a bit less so you can probably copy the color right there 070707 and then alt backspace to fill it in so it's like a really really dark gray and then if we add a new layer we're just going to create some highlights and shadows, just make the background for now. We can bring in the rulers, if you just drag it from the side, bring it down, it should snap into place. And then we're just going to add a highlight at the top, just bring down the opacity, and we're going to add one at the bottom as well. Change that to overlay, bring down the opacity a little bit. And then we're going to add a new, uh, new layer, then we're going to make it completely black and round the side so it's going to have a little shadow whoops nothing much just like so then we'll just bring that down so we're just making like a cool backing for now um, and now it's gonna oops, double click on that press ok group all that together now we'll just add some cc's just to merge it all really nicely so bring that up bring that down Color curves make a little less shape. Uh, exposure, bring that up. Bring up the offset a little bit. And then bring up the gamma correction. And now we've got a cool dark background all sorted. Now we're going to add another light over the top, about here and then bring down the opacity like so. Um, so what we're going to do now is add some text right in the middle and you can use any font you want but what I'm going to use for this one is Agency FB Java update geez. Um, Agency FB as you can see and I'm just going to put tutorial tutorial and I think I'm going to use the bold font for this yeah I'll use a bold font We'll put it right in the middle and I'm just going to make the size, quite, I want it to be quite small and clean. So I'm actually going to also increase the spacing to something like that, like so. And what we're going to do here is we are going to put it right in the middle like so. And what we're going to do now is if you press control and click we'll just rasterize it first it actually creates like an outline around the outside go to select modify contract uh, I think let me just check select modify contract we'll do one try that we delete the middle you get like a cool glow that looks really nice if you put that to overlay and then duplicate it a couple of times you can also like rub away certain parts so it's some parts are brighter than the other. So you've got that. That looks really cool. What we're gonna do now is add a new layer, go to the brush, and we're gonna in the bright spots we're gonna add an overlay. So you don't want it to be massive, just little spots. Like there, on there, we'll have one there as well change that to overlay and then bring down the opacity as you can see this good glowing parts and that looks really cool 
just a really clean looking style that we've got going on. Now what I want to do now, I'll just group all that together. So the text right in the middle. We're going to add like some, I don't know, like uh, points on the end at the bottom left and the bottom right. So if you just add a new layer, go to the pen tool and we're just going to do a little point. Mark that maybe, I don't know. Just keep testing, it's up to you guys what, what you think looks best. Probably not going to be perfect. And then mix selection, and then right here, choose any colour you want. I think I might go for like a dark orange, orangey red type thing. Looks nice, decent. Duplicate it, flip it round, and then place on the opposite side. Might bring it a bit closer actually. Just messing around with it here. We want to make sure that it's on in line. So probably be something like that. So what we're gonna do here is group them both together, bring down the opacity a little bit and then add a new layer, go to the same colour and then right on the corner of both of them you want to click and I think colour dodge or overlay, I think colour dodge, yeah colour dodge, then bring down the opacity to about 15%, add a new layer, go to white and then we're just going to click again and change that to overlay like so we've got like a little glowing corner to it and it looks really nice from far away as you can see so what we're going to do now is put official channel off it's really simplistic but it's got you know like the gaming style that you want We'll bring down the size and we'll bring up the spacing. I think something like that. You could put it on top, you could put it on below, it's totally up to you. And then I'm just going to bring down the opacity a bit. Oh, we could keep it like that, I'm not sure. I might just bring down the space in a little bit. There we go. We'll just keep it like that for now. So now we've got that. Um, what else could we... Oh, I, I know what we can do. We can add like the social media around the outside. So what I'm thinking maybe if we go to the bottom layer, add a new leg and then across the middle, let's just get rid of this arrow, we can add like a, like a white line going across. And then we can like rub away certain parts. So let's Bring down the opacity of the rubber. And then what we want to do then is just duplicate it, maybe flip it round. Maybe have one at the top as well. So that's really cool. You can add the social media around the outside. I don't think there's much point in doing it. Or could you do it? You just do it. Stay connected over there. Maybe on the other side you can put be sure to subscribe. Like so. So stay connected and then you'd put the social media on that side. 
duplicate it round. And then over here, let's put be sure to subscribe. Or you can put like sponsors, depends what channel you've got. You could put like what days you upload and stuff. Nice. So that's that. You could bring down the opacity a bit. Nice. Um, well, uh, we can if you want. Whatever colour you've chosen for the arrows at the bottom, you could like add spots of that colour. Like so. Colour dodge, uh, let's go through it. I think colour dodge would be the best. Then bring like down the opacity. Maybe add some sp like overlay spots in places. So put one up there, put one down there. I can never there. ever find the right word. Overlay. No way this is real life. And now it's no gonna add some colour corrections. Right so in the background, if you want, you can get like a Call of Duty or whatever gaming wallpaper in the background. I think that would look pretty decent. Oh, you bring that up. Bring up the offset. Bring up the gamma correction. And then photo filter, you could add the photo filter as well. I might add like a dark orangey red one. And then scrape all that together. And then finally, I'm just gonna add a white spot at the top. And yeah, that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I hope it didn't drag on too much, but as you can see, it looks really nice. Clean gaming YouTube banner. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what video you want to see from me next. And yeah. Um, maybe if we do break 500 likes then I will give this away I'll put the template in the description so yeah 500 likes and I'll put it in the description but yeah hope you're all having a sick day and I'll see you guys in the next video